Once upon a time, Jesus approached a town on his journey. Word had spread of his arrival, and soon a great crowd came together around him, and people not only from this town, but the next town also. And as they listened to his words, he said in a parable, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, and immediately they sprang up. And when the sun rose, they were scorched, since they had no root, and withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them, yielding no grain. And other seeds fell into good soil and produced grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold, and sixtyfold, and a hundredfold. And so, he who has the ears to hear, let him hear. Now, this is one of the most famous parables from Jesus' teachings, who explains himself that the seed is the wisdom, truth, and love in each and every heart. The seeds that fell along the path and were trodden underfoot or consumed by the birds of the air are those who have received the truth in their hearts, but they do not grow because the busyness of life consumes the mind and the seeds disappear from memory and the truth is not heard any longer. And the seeds that fell on the rocks are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy and grow enthusiastically. But these have no roots. They believe it for a while, but when they are asked to ground what they have received, they fall away. And as for what fell among thorns, they are those who hear the wisdom, but as they go along their way, they are suffocated by the pressures, riches, and self-indulgent distractions of life, and their fruit simply does not mature. But the seed who is planted on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it, fully believes in it and nurtures it within them. This is the one who produces a crop yielding 30, 60, or even a hundred times what was sown. In other words, where you put your effort, where you plant your heart, your bodies and minds, cause and effect of your creations. While this parable is used often as a discussion on the importance of the gospel, which is a valid interpretation, even non-Christians can interpret it in their own way and find value in the wisdom, as is the case with many teachings. Jesus often said that he taught in parables because people were opposed to his direct teachings. Even if he were to take the tale at face value and see the seeds as wisdom or intentions rather than the word of the gospel, the underlying message is the same. Sometimes all that's needed for truth and wisdom to prosper in an environment is a belief that it can, but even then, the truth will only enlighten those who believe in it. Ultimately, whatever walk of life you come from, this parable teaches us to be purposeful with everything that we do, every thought that you think. Take it as a chance to plant your own wisdom and truth in good soil, and the kingdom of heaven will be beholden unto you, whatever form that may take.